Hello guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Newer Photography Bicolor Dimmable LED Softbox Lighting Kit. So usually I use the typical studio lights with uh, the big flash on them, uh, but I've got myself some of these LEDs now. and um, <clears throat> They're really cheap off Amazon, they're about £80. Uh, they come as a set of two lights. Uh, they came in a, this kind of nice little carrying case here. I must say they're very light, so if you want them for the sort of thing I want, it's like a mobile studio that I can clap and put up and down as I please. They should come in really handy. So I'm actually using one at the moment now, so this box is actually empty. And uh, same with one of these stands, this is one of the stands. Okay. Um, you get this little uh, VIP thing, it's not incredibly helpful, other than to say uh, get in touch with them if you have any problems. And uh, let's take a look at the light. Okay, now uh, the reason I went for these is because these were some of the cheapest lights I could find that had the option of uh, being dimmable. So uh, with the intention I've actually got is to use these uh, for studio lights in a uh, bird of prey setting. So I want some things to light up the birds. Um, the reason I decided to go for LEDs is uh, for two reasons. One, because they're not going to get hot as quick, so um, you don't have to worry too much about the birds getting overheated. And uh, also, there you go. And uh, also, if I want to do a, have a group of people around to all shooting at the same time, I can just have the lights constantly going, and I'm not going to have to worry about uh, the lights recharging and flashing. Now obviously, as I say, I'm using one now. These can also be used with video, so it's quite handy for me. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you listen very carefully, there is a slight humming coming from the light. But um, I'd say it's nothing that I'm gonna to be too worried about. I'm not sure if this audio is gonna be picking it up or not at the moment. So if we have a quick look at the light, nice and simple. Oh! They do actually have a couple of soft boxes in here as well, which I forgot to mention. Okay, so if we look at what we have in the box, we've got the stand here, we've got the power adapter, we've got the LED bulb, and uh, we've got the soft box in here. So to set up the lights, we uh, just plug the uh, power cable into here like this. We need to plug the uh, lights in themselves. Switch that on. And this just plugs into the back here. And then we're ready to go. Okay, now, so this is the LED as it comes. Uh, if I put it on full brightness, you can tell it's, uh, it's got a lot of power to it. So if I'm using this for photography, this should have a nice amount of light. I am going to uh, test it to um, see how much power it has and what kind of shutter speed you can get. But what you can also see this is it also has a tungsten setting. So, um, so I don't personally like this, but if you're in a room and the uh, lights are tungsten, you can light them with the studio light being tungsten and then colour correct it later. In fact, should we give that a go now? So here I am uh, with a tungsten background. I'm going to go and turn the lights on. So now I've put the tungsten light on and I'm going to go and edit it afterwards. And there we go, we're all back to normal now. So although I don't really like uh, the tungsten light effect, it is useful when you want to edit it afterwards. So if we have a look at the back of the light, we've got the on off switch here, and uh, we can choose where we want it to be uh, tungsten, or if we want it to be daylight at 5,500 Kelvin. And then we've just got the dimmer switch here, nice and easy, and where the power plugs in. Nice little handle there, <laughs> if you want to go in a cave with it. And um, we've just got uh, two little adapters here, so if we loosen off this nut here, we can move it around to a top. And then this one here will allow us to attach it to the stand. Okay, we're gonna look at the stand again. We've got another nut here, this loosens. Don't loosen it too much, otherwise it pulls it off. So, um, we're gonna loosen that and we're gonna open up the legs. I'm making this look harder than it is. There we go. And we've got a nice little stand there. And then I can tighten this back up.
And then we've got these two little extension bars here. These fold out and you can extend it as far as you like. That is actually quite tall. It's off the ground, you can put it right above the camera. Okay. So once we've got the height we like, we can just clip that in place. Wrong one, clip that in place. And just place our light on top and turn it on. And then we can again loosen this nut. Then it's whatever angle we like. Okay. So next we've got the softbox, which consists of these four little rods. And uh, the big reflector that goes on the inside and around the light. And in here we have the diffuser. Like this. Alright, where's my light gone? Now to put the softbox on, on our studio light around the edge, we've got eight holes. And I found that if you put the uh, rods, uh, silver end in one of these holes, and then you put another rod into a hole next to it, where the uh, softbox is actually uh, rectangular and not square. This should bring out the right kind of shape for us. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, use the back of the softbox and I'm gonna slide it over the top of the light. And on the inside of the softbox, we've got these little black pockets. And then we can, well, <laughs> then we can slide the black part of the rod into the pocket. Put the first two rods in, we can put the next two, and these are going to go exactly opposite the ones we've already put in. So one's going to go in there, and one's going to go in there. There we go, it's a bit fiddly, but we'll get there in the end. And then on the back, we've got these little Velcro pockets. We're just going to do up to make sure none of the light escapes out the back. Once we've got that done, we can open up the uh, diffuser. Spread that over the top like that, and these will actually uh, clip on the Velcro. And there we go, and that's a that's a 20 inch by 27 inch diffuser. So it's quite large, and if we've got some small uh, studio things going on, some small studio subjects, this is going to light it pretty well. Okay guys, so now I'm sitting here, I have got my studio light to the right of me, facing directly at me, and the studio light to the left is going to bounce off the wall to give me a slightly more uh, diffused light. They are both on full power, and they are both about one to two meters away from me. And as far as video goes, I'm very impressed with this, it's lighting my, uh, it's lighting me very well I think. Um, we've got the uh, camera shooting at 160th of a second, at f5, and an ISO of 640. So for design, I'm going to give these lights a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, the reason for this is uh, they're doing everything you want them to do. They've got the uh, dimmable switches, you can turn them on and off. It's really good that they're LED because they're uh, more energy efficient and they're not going to overheat. Um, and uh, they're very easy to assemble. Uh, you just put them together, uh, they all slot into each other. All the nuts work really well, all the screws work really well. The only downside is that the uh, softbox can be a bit fiddly. Um, I feel a bit bad marking it down for this reason, but because um, all soft boxes are going to have that. But that's um, that's the one downside from the design. And again, it's, it's really worth mentioning that they uh, they collapse very small. They're very light. They're very easy to move around. If I compare these to other lights, uh, such as the other studio lights I've got that um, that flash, uh, these are so much smaller. I think I'd use these more um, in a less professional capacity. Um, because I'm not going to have to wait for them to recharge, I'm not going to have to worry about the uh, brightness changing and um, I can find more uses for these. For quality, I'm going to give them a 4.5 again. 
I say I'm actually very impressed with the quality. It all fits together really well. It feels very sturdy. Um, and I say where it's a bit light, I'm not sure if it's a bit flimsy. I say it's definitely not up to a, uh, a professional standard, but um, it's as close as you're gonna get, especially if you're looking at uh, the lower range of the studio lights. And if we now have to go for value for money, I'm gonna give these a five out of five. Um, they're gonna do everything I want them to do photography wise. Um, everything I've had in mind for them in terms of um, if I do a few portraits, if I use these for birds of prey pictures, and I've also uh, got planned to do some time-lapse pictures. Um, these are going to be a great value for money. I'm going to get so much out of these lights. So overall, I'm going to give these lights a 4.7 out of 5. Really good value for money and I highly recommend them. In terms of video, um, I'd be a bit wary. Um, I haven't actually tested them that close to the camera yet. So if I bring them in nice and close now, I don't know if you can hear a difference or if you can hear the uh, humming going on from the fan. But as I say, I'm getting no flicker, so I'm quite happy with this. So the, uh, the only uh, criticism I can make about these lights really is uh, that they didn't come with instruction manuals. When I was trying to put them together I wasn't exactly sure what slotted into where 100% and I had to experiment what holes uh, the rods went into. I say it's really not a big deal, it probably took me an extra five minutes to set the lights up. So, um, for value for money, I highly recommend these lights. Okay guys, so uh, if you've liked this video, if you found it useful, uh, hitting that like button just lets me know that I'm going in the right direction and I'm giving you all the information you need. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave this uh, down in the comment section. And also, um, I'm going to leave a link to these lights in the description below. Um, I hope to see you in the next guys video. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next video guys.